Hey everyone, how's it going? Hobbs Yoda here again, um, back here on the WWE Network. Um, as I said, uh, I've started to do these WWE Network watch-along videos, just of like revisiting some old rivalries I remember as a kid, but never getting to see the big matches for them on pay-per-view, because pay-per-views back then were like 60 to $50 each. And uh, so one of the old rivalries I remember, though, seeing on Raw back then, but never got to see the matches for on pay-per-view, since pay-per-views were so expensive back then, was the HBK versus Y2J rivalry back in 2008. So I've been revisiting that. I already did a watch-along video for their first match at the Great American Bash, and now we're here for their second match, an unsanctioned match at Unforgiven. So I am on the I had the WWE Network up on the Unforgiven 2008 pay-per-view. I've selected it already. And I'm, I've gone down to the Jump 2 segment, so you can jump to whatever match you want. And I'm on the HBK versus Y2J unsanctioned match one. So we can sync this watch along up. I'm on that. I'm going to do the 3 2 1 countdown again, and all one is when we're going to hit play. I'm going to hit OK on it to start the match. So let's do that. All right, on 3 2 1. All right, loading. Loading. All right, here we go. The following is an unsunctioned match. Unsunctioned? I'm sorry. All right, let's do this. I'm excited. I found it interesting when, um... AEW did their unsanctioned match recently with uh, John. I probably recently mean like probably like two months ago <laughs> between uh, John Moxley and Kenny Omega. How since it was unsanctioned, how it didn't even count towards the records in AEW. It was like a match that took place after the pay per view. Like if you stayed after the pay per view, then you get to see it. They made it like unsanctioned to like the company too. Like it's not gonna count towards the records. Or anything. I found that interesting. It's like okay, and that match was insane. Like it was good. Yeah, I'm excited to see this one. Um, cause this is a rivalry building up that I remember. I wish I could got, I could have gone pay per views too, to watch these matches because this was a great rivalry. And they, and after watching the first match, they are really good in the ring together. HBK and Watcher J. So I'm excited to see this, the second match. As I said, it was very rare since so pay per views cost so much back then that I ever got one, and it would usually, you know, just be the big ones like SummerSlam, Royal Rumble, Mania. Um. And it's funny because I got the SummerSlam pay per view this year. I remember back in 2008, but they didn't have a, another match around then. HBK was still recovering from their last match. So I just got, I just got to see more build up for the rivalry. I never got to see their actual matches, though. Which I'm glad we are now, though. I'm glad I am. get the opportunity now. <laughs> Since they did have three matches, I remember. I think they had three matches. I think it's this one, the second one, this one is, and then they have a ladder match. But, since they did have three matches, I'm wondering if, since we just saw, spoiler, Jericho win the last one, if Sean's gonna win this one, and then the latter match is what's gonna be, like, the tiebreaker. It's kinda like a two out of three falls match, like they do at NXT. What the hell? Now he's got something wrong with his arm now? I do not remember this. Like, what the fuck? Like, first it's his eyes, you know, and his ribs, obviously, but now it's like, now there's something up with his arm? Like, what the f*** happened with his arm? He was recovering! He was recovering after his eye got beat down. What happened while he was recovering that his arm is now injured too? What the f***? Alright. It's, it's Shawn Michaels. He was the freaking the Daniel Bryant kind of uh, there around this time. Like, he had to be the underdog. We had to give him some type of injury to where he would appear as the underdog going into the match. It's like, now it's his arm. His arm is, for some reason, banged up. I don't remember why. <laughs> oh, here we go. Take down. I'm shot already. <laughs> his hair tore in the triceps heavily tape. How did he tear his tricep? I don't know. Dude, it should be. I mean, I get it since this is unsanctioned, but in, like, normal matches, man, it should always be illegal to wrestle with those boots on. That is an unfair advantage. Oh! Coming out with the boot. Nice. See, wrestles in, like, regular matches with, like, those boots. And those boots are way harder to choose than what the wrestlers wear. Those are, like, steel-toed boots, <laughs> you know? 
There we go, taking it to him. Atta boy, Sean. Atta boy. Go oh, right over the barricade, by God! Going at him. That that friggin' that fan is is pumped. He stays hyped. <laughs> Dude in the white wife beard. Oh. It feels like Sean is personally trying to injure Jericho's eye now, too, you know, which is fair. Just fair. Oh boy. Into the ring post, into the ring post. Yeah, yeah. Jericho. Also caught it, though. Not sure it's going to help him much, though. Alright, what's Michael's looking for here? Oh, he's got the chair. Dude, bash his head with the chair into the ring post. Like, come on. Oh, he was going to. Jericho, get out of the way, though. Let's kick to the midsection. Throwing him up against the house table. Do not allow your family to watch this tonight. Ooh, dropping him on the friggin' barricade now. Damn, I just got thirsty. I was gonna go grab a drink, but I can't because we're doing a watch now. Probably gonna drink with me for the next match, though. Ooh, a DDT, though. You know, Randy Orton spike drop DDT right there. That's, like, that's what that was. Should have done it onto the chair. It didn't look like he did on the chair, did he? Come on, Jericho, it's unsanctioned. Take advantage of that crap, man. You the GOAT. You the greatest innovator of all time, dude. It really is, though. What would you call that? What would be the short name for that greatest innovator of all time? The, the guy at? I don't know. Jericho is the guy at. <laughs> I don't know. I would freaking know. Just throwing the table at him. I remember that was genius in the uh, John Cena versus Sheamus tables match. How I think one of them tried to use to break the table by using it like as a baseball bat. Actually, like swung it at the other. I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> hello!" That was innovative. Oh, he's gonna power bomb him through the table. Batista bomb! Oh no, Sean ain't having it. Oh, drops a face first on the ring apron though. Yikes! <clears throat> but at what cost? He may have avoided it, but at what cost? I'm not sure how sexy either man is gonna be looking after this match. <laughs> even even if you do with the match saw that the music of yours is gonna be played afterwards, ain't gonna be so fitted. <laughs> there we go. He's in the chair. Jericho. I don't think they could use chair headshots still, even around this time, because yeah, Chris. Benoit has already been dead, obviously, so yeah, they definitely can't use, we definitely won't be seeing them use headshots, though, with the chair, even though it's unsanctioned, which is a good call, after that incident, for obvious reasons. <laughs> Jericho, there we go. Classic heel tactic. Wedging the chair into the corner. I've always loved that move. 
I was on the one where they take the, uh, the, um, expose the turnbuckle too. Low blow, maybe, Sean? No? Okay. I'm in mean, the great opportunity to hit a low blow there. Get back into it, Sean, but alright. Stay on him, Jericho. Atta boy. a goat. a <laughs> <Atta> goat. <laughs> Shoving his boot into his face. There you go. There you go, Chris. Chris, I'm actually going to watch this. I'm going to watch the main event, too, afterwards. And y'all can stay with me if you want. doesn't matter. Um, but I heard he actually wrestled, wrestled two matches this night. Um, he did this match. And then he went on... And, like, there was something going on with the heavyweight title later on the night that he was in, too. I'm going to have to check out see what that is. Because, thankfully, the only reason I got the idea to go back and, you know, revisit this feud that I never got to see the big pay-per-view matches for like this um, was thanks to Adam Blompied on his, like, um, top ten, one of his top ten videos on Wrestle Talk. He uh, posted a video of, like, top ten wrestling feuds to revisit on the network, you know, while in quarantine. And I appreciate him for that. Gave me the idea to revisit this, because I remember this rivalry. I was like, oh, man, yeah, I was sold to this rivalry as a kid, but, like, you know, never got to see the matches, because pay-per-view was expensive back then. But thank God for the network, right? I was going to say, almost going to say, thank God for Gorgy, too, but uh, that would be wrong. That would be, that would be wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there we go. Nice, Sean. Get him back. Oh, dude, he could, you're easily going to be pulled through the table now, though, because you're on the outside. Right by though, you just put Jericho on the inside. He can just knock you right off that apron. But no, Sean's back in the ring. Oh, there we go. Nice flying form by Sean. Love that jump he does off the of one foot. Kick up, classic. There we go. Even in the jeans, ladies and gentlemen. Even in the jeans, he still got it. Still got it. Oh, choking him out. Harder, Dad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ref, it's unsanctioned. Shut the hell up. Everyone's like, Hobbs, oh, chills. I mean, murder is allowed too? Like, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, they signed a contract. <laughs> to the death. Elbow, he hits it. Heck y'all. If they die, let them die. Just kidding. <laughs> However that freaking Rocky Four quote goes. <laughs> Alright, tune it up the band. Ain't no Lance Kane this time. Screw it up. It's gotta be Kane. And Jericho's gonna see it coming. It's on his knees. Alright. If you would church, <laughs> I'd get on my knees. <laughs> oh, there we go. Get him, Sean. Get him. Trying to fire away at Chris's face. He's blocking it up, though. He's like, no! <laughs> no, don't do it. No, Karma, no, Crossface. There we go. I mean, it makes so much sense now that Daniel Bryan uses this as his finisher because he trained in, like, Shawn Michaels Wrestling School, didn't he? I got, I got Fall Boy stuck in my head right now. Oh, there we go. Now the chair comes to you, genius, and that is why you set that stuff up, because you never know when it's going to come in handy. Good job, Jericho. Good job. Night. Nice. Well played. Well played, lad. Well played. <clears throat> Crowd chain for Michaels. I do miss the crowd, man. I really do. Oh, going for the eye again. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not again.
Yeah. He's going to do a low blow here. Maybe not. He's going to up to his feet. And they're hit to the eye. Teeing off. Oh my gosh. I can't even see. Oh, jeez. Sean, you really didn't give yourself enough time to recover, did you, man? To be fair, though, that's probably like, if this is real, obviously, it's kind of like a lifelong injury, probably. Your vision's probably never going to be the same again after getting your freaking face shoved into a Titan drawn. It's like, he's giving it all he has, off. He's giving it all he has. Alright. Again, I always love that oversell over the turbuckle from Sean. There we go. This ups right on him. Now, Sean, firing array. This clothesline. <laughs> Is he going for a pile driver? Nope, nope. Walls of Jericho. Oh, he's going to grab the chair, isn't he? Can he reach up and grab it, though? Yeah, probably not. There's no rope break, right? So, I don't think there is, is there? No, they said there was no DQ and no count out. Rope break still might be on, though. It's probably still on. I don't know. Probably still rope break. Again, dude, you were already in arm's length. Like, enough of the act. Let Jeez. See, your wrist touched it. Your wrist touched it. And your arm still wasn't even extended all the way out. Like, come on, man. Oh, that's right. There are no rope breaks. Yeah, I was right. I was right. Oh, fire extinguisher. Classic. Classic. Yes. And why does Jericho even turn his head around? Like, je <laughs> Jesus, man. Like, why did he even turn his face around, though? Like, let's be real. Because the script, it was needed and necessary for the script, for the match to go on. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, it was a smart ploy by Michaels, but, like, why did Jericho even turn his head? Oh, now we can use it as a weapon. There we go. And now Sean's taking a nap. He's going to take this time for a nap break. Now, naping under the ring. Oh, he's, he's up, he's up. Oh. And Jericho still wrestled another match after this. Can you believe that? My man. Had a go. Had a go. <clears throat> Did not want to be held responsible for what he was going to do to Chris Jericho. Doesn't false guy anywhere. Ooh. Yeah, can you even lift him? There you go. All right, I'm impressed. This is where I wish I had the, the 10 second button. Oh. Again? 
I stinking can't get out of here. Did Triple H hate Michaels at this time or something? <laughs> Sean has no help from anyone. <sighs> I mean, I'd surprise me if like Ric Flair came out and helped them, but we won't see that either. Damn, he sold that clothesline, though. HBK. <laughs> he sold that clothesline. Former pupil, okay. This was a good storyline. Oh, man. Again, I guess no one loves Sean. No one comes out and helps him. No Ric Flair, no Triple H. <sighs> Okay. Again, how did his tricep get injured again? Oh, we saw a tail set up on the outside too. Forgot about that. Now oh, they're bringing the chair back in. Right, hey. Is it a fiction match, ref? Shut the hell up. Yeah, I'm trying to find my remote. Turn the volume up. Sorry about sticking my hand in the camera. Lady in the crowd. Oh my! Oh no. Oh no. Not the arm, the chair. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, Jack is gonna go to that table now. Sweet chin music, heck yeah. I don't wonder that it was so effective when you allow the man to wrestle with freaking boots. And to the table. Yeah, that's like almost practically be illegal. Of course the super kick's gonna be powerful enough to be a finishing move for Shawn Michaels. When you give him steel toe boots to wear the damn rig all the time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just swinging at one arm and all. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's gonna go for the elbow, ain't he? <laughs> stop it, Sean, stop! He's already dead! No! Oh, jeez. Jericho's gonna stop this, though, probably. I don't know. Yeah, he's getting up. Jericho's getting up. Oh, wait, Sean sees him getting up, though. Oh, just kicked him. Oh, is he gonna stack them on top of each other? Hey, yeah. Oh my gosh. He just gave Jericho a fog. <laughs> oh my gosh, please tell me he actually makes this. Oh, what's he doing? Is he doing a running shit? Sometimes he's gonna do the elbow. He's gonna do the elbow. Please tell me he makes this move. Please. For my own entertainment. Heck yeah! Four Lance Cade is like, dead. He's dead. Again, this is where you wish you had the 10 second button, though. Making Jericho pay for his sins. All right, King. Shawn Michaels' crusade of passion here at Unforgiven. Crusade of passion. He's not Jesus, guys. Calm down. Dragging the the lifeless carcass of Jericho toward the ring. Jericho has been through some crap in this match. And then again, still goes on to the main event. Like, dear gosh, this man is a goat. Oh, he's bringing out the belt now. Heck yeah. Oh, this is actually real attention. He'd be using the book. I mean, either way, it's gonna hurt like hell, but still. Yeah, 
think he'd been sent by the devil. Maybe it was almost a look on the face of Son Michael's moment and moments ago that I, I can't help myself. Oh, he's going to do what Jericho did to him. That's awesome. Oh, but with the buckle, damn. Where's the blood from Jericho? <laughs> yeah, Sean inherited uh, Ric Flair's easily uh, busted open disease or whatever, I don't know. He was bleeding so bad when it happened to him in his life in the last match. You can't call off an unsanctioned match! What the hell is this? Lillian, you just told me at the beginning of the match I had it in by pinfall or submission, and I did not see the rough count of pinfall. The hell was that? Yes. It's a good match with like a bad ending. <laughs> Done yet though. I mean I get it was over. His shoulders were definitely down, but if you wanted the match to end ref, you saw that Jericho's shoulders were down the mat. Just did it you could have just done like a quick count, like one, two, three. And then called it. But no, you just called it out of nowhere. That was an unsanctioned match. That was so stupid. This kicks the ref as, as usual. As always. So. Come on, kick all of them. Kill the refs. <laughs> it's just, seriously, can we still went on to wrestle a match after this? Dear gosh. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, well, I guess that's that, question mark. Alright, let's uh, see what this main event was.